Hey guys, it's Sarah and today's video is my November project pan update. I'm so excited to share my progress with you. I finished three items this last month and there is another product that I decided to roll out just because I don't want it in the project anymore. And if you remember last month, I actually started off the month with 11 products just because there was one item that was really close to being done but wasn't quite close enough to be called finished, but I knew I'd be finishing it within the first week or two. So I went ahead and rolled in an extra thing just to kind of keep things rolling. So long story short, three things finished plus one item I'm rolling out brought us back down to seven items and I'm rolling three new things in. So we'll be back up to 10 total. So let's go ahead and get into those updates. So starting out on a really exciting update, I did finish the Ulta Hydrating Face Primer Mini and I actually just rolled this in last update, just a really tiny 0.34 ounce <laughs> primer. So I wasn't sure I'd be able to finish it in a month, but I did um, just finish it a few days ago. It was down to about here and I cut it open, cleaned it out, and that is one less primer floating around in my collection, which is very exciting. Two cream stick products that have been in the project for a few months now. I have the Jordana Contour Stick in Light and the Ulta Highlighting Stick in Pixie Dust. With the contour stick, I've been using this a lot and I can definitely see that I've made a ton of progress, especially since I first rolled this into the project this summer. I used this 24 times in October and I made such a tiny sliver of progress on the paper. It's always so disheartening when you know you've used something so many times and you still just get the tiniest little line of progress, but I mean, there's really not a ton left. I know I won't finish this by the end of 2020, but I will have still made a huge chunk of progress. With the highlight stick, I also used this a ton. I used it 16 times, and last month I used it 17 times, but for some reason, this month I was not even able to measure any progress on my paper. When last month, when I used it just about the same number of times as this month, I was able to measure a ton more progress. So that's just so weird to me. I'm really, <laughs> really sad that there's no like real visible progress here. If you remember last month, I said that my goal was to have this used to the point where when I had it screwed all the way down, you wouldn't be able to see any progress product peeking over the top. And I'm almost there. You can still see a little bit just above the plastic, but it's, it's close, close enough. As long as I'm meeting my usage goal on this, there's really not a whole lot I can do. And I feel like 15 uses is a pretty ambitious usage goal in my opinion. So I guess, you know, it'll just be slow, <laughs> slow and steady progress with both of those. But I bet next month I'll be able to mark a ton more progress on the paper just because I wasn't able to mark any this time. All right, next we have my Physician's Formula Healthy Powder, and this I actually repressed, and I did film a kind of how-to video on how I repress my powder products, so I'll link that below, but this is one of the products that I repressed in that video. And so I repressed it so that it just kind of makes a circle in the middle of the pan. I didn't want to press it all the way into the edges, just so it would be really easy for me to get every last bit out of here. And since repressing it, I repressed it around halfway through the month, I think, and since then, I feel like it hasn't moved at all. Like, it's just, well, no, I think I've leveled it out a little bit, but I don't know how much longer it's gonna take to use this. It doesn't look like a lot of product. So I'm hoping to have this done by my next update, and I think I can do that. I will do my best, but I do think this will at least be done by the end of the year, if not my next update. Okay, next we have a blush, and I almost feel like there's a chance I could use this up by the end of the year. This is the Wet n Wild Blush in Rosé Champagne. I have a huge pan on this. I have not yet repressed it, but I do think this will be the month that I need to repress it. And I asked on my Instagram in a post if anybody thought it was doable <laughs> to finish this by the end of the year, and most people were like, girl, no, that's way too ambitious. Some people were like, you can do it, you can do it if you put your mind to it, if you just like wear a ton of blush every single day, which is kind of what I do anyway. So. It's funny because a year ago I used up blush so slowly because I would barely tap my brush in there at all. But now I just love piling on a lot of blush. I put it on my forehead, my nose, all over my cheeks. So I feel like it could be doable. Um, a lot of people have told me that this is a blush that once you do hit paint on it, it goes really fast. So. It's definitely been going quicker than I would have expected a blush to go for me, especially a year ago. I used this 24 times this month. Pretty much every day I've been using this blush. Even if I layer it with other blushes, I pretty much always use it. So 
I don't know if I'll have this finished by the end of the year, but I wanna try. I wanna at least try because, I mean, what is there to lose? <laughs> Let me know if you think that that is just crazy ambitious or if you think it's possible, especially if you yourself have panned that blush. Okay, so this is the thing that was super close to being done last month, but I wasn't ready to take it out of the project just yet. The NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray, I did completely finish this. Now this actually has the Pixie Rose Glow Mist in it because the sprayer on that one got weird, but the NYX Dewy Setting Mist is finished, it's done, I'm glad to see it go because it wasn't my favorite setting spray. Okay, so probably the most exciting update, definitely of this whole video, but also I think of the entire year, I finally finished the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in Soiree. This is probably the last time I will utter those words. <laughs> so sad. I totally spoiled this both on my Instagram when it happened and also in my last empties video. I just couldn't help myself and I figured you guys knew- you guys saw it coming because last month it was ridiculously close and it took another six uses this month to finally finish this off. It is done and it's kind of bittersweet because I love this eyeshadow. It is, I believe, discontinued. It will be missed. It was a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow. I loved having it in my collection, but it was time to finish this because I had had this for probably about five and a half years and it's like a cream shadow, so it was, it was ready to be done. So everyone say goodbye to the Elf Soiree shadow. Um, you will see this, of course, in my yearly empties, which is coming up at the end of December, but I can't believe it's done. I really can't. Speaking of eyeshadow, I also have the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells quad and the lid broke off of this today. I don't even know why because all this ever does is sit in my drawer. I don't put it in my purse or my makeup bag or anything. So I don't know why it decided to break today, but that's Wet n Wild packaging for you. I did repress the light pink eyelid shade in my How to Repress powder products video, so I'll again link that below, but that has been repressed. The other shades are not yet ready to be repressed, but it's going really well. I do have huge pan on the transition shade in here. The pan in the crease shade and the brow bone shade are growing. Not super fast, but they're growing, and once again, I don't think I'll have this finished by the end of the year, but hopefully early next year I can get this finished, and maybe I can finish up the pink shade. But I'm not sure. It is tricky because I do have my one month one palette series going on. So I'm trying to juggle a lot of eyeshadows <laughs> currently, but we'll try. Okay, another eyeshadow that I actually have not been using as an eyeshadow. I've been using this as a bronzer. This is the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Matte Eyeshadow. It doesn't have a name on it, so I'm just going off of my memory. Uh, in the shade Soft Beige. This is actually the perfect bronzer slash almost bronzy blush color for me, so that's what I've been using it for. I have used it as an eyeshadow a few times, and I probably will continue to do that, but I found my favorite way to use it and the best way to get the most use out of it is as a bronzer. So that's going really well. I used it 13 times, even though my goal was only five, so doing well, and I can definitely see through this part of the packaging, and I'm already kind of scraping at the sides, so I'm not sure this will be done by the end of the year, especially if I do take the stopper out, but um, I think we'll at least come close to finishing this. Okay, a lipstick that I'm determined to finish by the end of 2020 is the Red Apple Lipstick in Beachside. It's just a tiny little nub in there now, and this is such a creamy soft formula that it is easy to see progress each month. Um, I've been using it a ton. I reapply it on days that I do wear it as much as I can remember to. I don't know if I'll have this done by my next update. I feel like it's doable, but I'd have to really use it a lot. But if not, then definitely by the end of December. A product I rolled in last month that I have decided to take out of the project because I realized I don't like it is the Profusion Sparkling Lip Topper in Frolic. I actually talked about this as a fail in my October favorites and fails video. I just I've learned that I don't like sparkle on my lips I don't mind a little bit of shimmer, but this is just really sparkly um, As as the name would suggest and I knew that but I just hadn't used it a ton until this month And I did reach my usage goal. I used it 11 times. My goal was to use it 10 times using it that much made me realize that I just don't like this product so I'm not going to force myself to pan it. I probably will end up decluttering this. I think I'm going to do like an end of the year 
collection declutter. This is probably going to be in that declutter. So three products are finished and then I am rolling out that lip topper. So I am going to roll in three new items to bring us back up to a total of 10 products in this project. We're getting to the point of the year where there's not a huge chance that I'll finish anything that I roll in now by the end of the year just because we're getting so close. But I don't mind rolling some new things in just to kind of start seeing some progress on them. So the three things I decided to roll in, one of them is another primer. I have found that primer is one of the easier products for me to pan. And I've decided to roll in the Jordana Pore Refining Primer. This is a smaller size primer. It's only 0.68 fluid ounces or 20 milliliters. So not as much product as your standard primer. It's sort of just like a lotion-y primer. It doesn't do a whole lot in the way of pore refining, but... I don't mind using it. I don't know, maybe I can finish this by the end of the year. This is where we are now. So I've used a good bit of it, but we'll see. I'm not gonna try to rush it or like waste it just to finish it, but we'll see how much progress we can make. Another thing I'm rolling in is actually another eyeshadow. We did finish one eyeshadow, so I'm gonna just roll another shadow in. This is another shadow from e.l.f. This is their liquid glitter shadow in the shade Mermaid Shimmy. It's a shimmery green. I think this will be really pretty for the holiday season, which we're kind of starting to get into now. This is actually pretty new to my collection. I've only had it for a few months. But what I realized is a lot of times I wait for products to get old before I try to pan them. And especially with things like liquid glitter shadows that can dry out pretty quickly. I'm not sure how long these take to dry out, but with my Stila ones, I waited until they were almost unusable to start like panic panning them <laughs> so that they wouldn't go to waste, but they were already starting to dry out. So I wanna try to start panning this before it's even gotten to that point, like long before. That's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna try to use this up by the end of the year. I think that would be silly because I haven't even had it that long, but I just wanna try to use it five times this month and just make sure that I'm using it so that it doesn't dry out after it's been sitting in my collection for a long time not being used. And the last thing I wanna roll in, I think this was in my 2019 project pan for a brief time, and I've decided to roll it back in. This is the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeliner in the shade Black Point, so it's just a black pencil liner. And I don't always use black pencil liner, but I feel like with the end of fall and getting into the holidays, I feel like this will go with a lot of looks that I do. And um, it's not difficult to incorporate with into a lot of looks. So I've already sharpened it down like halfway through the word Jordana. So I'm not sure how much I can use by the end of the year, but maybe my goal can be to use it up past the 12. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to use it 10 times this month and we'll just see what happens. So that's all the progress that I made this month. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.